Hey guys, it's Patch, and today we are going to be talking about Spawn House. Um, <clears throat> there's a few changes going on. Got rid of the upside down. Well, no, not an upside down. The ice cream cone. Um, if you don't already know, I was going to change this for a build to name after a donator, and it's been a long time since he donated, and I been in a bit of a fudge about what to do about it, but um, I have decided on something now. Oh, I've got hiccups again. I always get hiccups when I start recording. Um, so, quickly go through something. Over here, got this funny little contraption, that there be a Etho painted day-night detector. Um, which is on this bit of wasteland. And the reason why I've put it there will become more apparent later. But it um, comes out here. And I've just been checking to see if it works or not. Little signs, little bing bongs. Um, I've got a override there. Bing! Which tends to bugger it up a bit. I saw you. No, off. Bong. Let's kick this guy in the butt. In the butt, in the butt, kick him in the butt. Where did he go? Where did you go? Sounds like Marcus has got a lot of sheep next door. I'm not entirely sure we should be worried about that or not. Anyway, let's go up here. Be removed at some point. So, we build a tower, and um, what the plan is is to build sort of some big arches, tall, narrow arches. Um, and I've been fiddling about with what to do. Um, we'll get to a certain height and then we will step it in a bit and we'll keep making a tower till we get to the absolute limit. Um, I've been working on a few different sort of variations on what to do for the, the sides. Um, there's this with the iron, which I'm actually quite liking. And I'll, again, we'll tell you why in a minute. Um, sort of small hole lattice, um, and this is quite cool. It's sort of a the, the diagonal gap, um, and then this, which is these sort of holes offset. Um, obviously, they'd repeat around. Uh, or oh, this guy, which is really getting on my nerves. This one which I also quite like, which is the square holes. Um, I do like that a lot, actually. But, I want to have the uh, um, columns quite narrow. I'm thinking of these. Which is only a gap of four, if I remember rightly, which is one, two, three, four.
I suppose it could work. For Christ's sake, you've got a whole big area around here and you just insist on walking around this one little tiny spot where I am. Go on then. God's sake. Um, I might just let him go, let him roam free. So yeah, I'm quite liking that actually. Um, now the thing is, what I want is a lava fall coming down at night. Um, and originally I was going to think, great, turn it off during the day, turn it on during the night, and then I thought maybe we could have a lava fall during the night and then swap it to water during the day, but <laughs> lava's so slow to dissipate, that's the problem. And then I thought we could have lava falling during the night, and then during the day, water falling in front of the lava. But then that's going to involve some... Actually, no. No, thinking about it. The lava's permanent. Because um, if we have... Thing like this, um, and then I'm all like that. So the lava comes down here onto you know, from above these two blocks. It'll hit that and it will fall off down here. If we get that all flowing, take out these blocks, it will stay flowing down that way, in fact. into action. Slow down. What are you doing? For God's sake, well that solves that problem, doesn't it? What a moron. See, obviously we won't take the top one out. But if we take that out, and we take that out. And we take that out. And we take that out. You see, it's still going down that side. Actually, we can probably take that out as well. Yes, no, no, no bugger. That's not a problem. We just have to make sure that that is higher. Um. Seriously, come on. doing this to me.
You managed to pick that up. Well, that's the theory, anyway. I think it's clearly not working because these bloody diagonals. See if that works now. Yes, anyway, sorry. Just thinking while I'm doing this. Um, so if I put... What the fuck? Sure, that never used to do that. Okay, for now, don't be a dick. Well, let's just have lava dropping. And we'll turn it off during the day. And hopefully it should clear out fairly quickly. Because it's just going to be a straight drop. Um, but the question is, what pattern are we going to do? And as I quite like... I'm quite liking this square one. It's confusing as hell to make. Um, but it seems to work quite well. Um, but the only thing with this pattern is it works best in stone brick. Um, just because it looks like it's made out of little square bricks, which means the columns are going to be have to made out of cobble, just to have a contrast going on. I think oh, that's probably the best way, um, because there's obviously quite a lot of stone brick going on already. I have to start putting more stone brick on there. Seriously. Cannon's been gone five seconds. That is boring people already. Um, so yes, I think that's what I am going to do. Now. Um, just thinking I should possibly put some form of overhang on that. Quite cool. Arcus has changed his house. <laughs> Burning zombie in his landing. Um, boink. Yeah, so let's, let's clear this up. And while I'm doing that... Um, oh, 
Fucking hell. Don't want that bag of shite. So while we're doing that, let's discuss some other things, because it's been a while. And... Future build. Now, this is something I'm having a spot of difficulty with. I've got a few ideas on what I want to build next. Now, I need to sort out the golf course. Now, I keep saying that. Bollocks. Um, and it's still as true as it ever was. Um, however, because it's now going to be an enderpearl golf course and not an arrow golf course, um, I need a decent supply of enderpearls, which I don't currently have. Let's go and dump some shit down in the... Uh, in here. Off, see, that's still broken. It'll reset itself. Um, yeah, see, I'll organize this a bit more. Wood stuff, dirt, cobble, stone brick, and stone. So, stone brick up the top, stone stuff down there. Cobble, let's put that in there. Dirt, self explanatory. Wood stuff, really wood stuff in here, no. Misc blocks. Those, those can go in there. Um, <coughs> natural placeable blocks, so they'll go in there. Tools, some stuff in there. Redstone stuff in there. Wall. White wall down the bottom, come up the top. Sneeze coming. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. There we go. And just random crap down here. I've just been off getting buckets of lava. Um, I'll just put my round things up. There you go. Oh, some more iron bars there. There's a those of blocks. Um, I should put those up there as well for now. <laughs> Generally blocks that can't be put down. I know there's a door in there, there's probably some other things in there that shouldn't be in there, but that's basically what that's about. Okay, good. Let's go back and finish off clearing that out. Um, yes, we need enderpearls and quite a lot of them. So, we need to kill the dragon, and then we can get Etho and Slash or Doc, the old Nender farm, using their own unique style. And then we can get some. Stop that, it's too slow. We can get some pearls going, actually, I'm going to leave that there. Good reference. Um, and then once we do that, we can get a decent collection of enderpearls up and plague off. So I'm not going to bother with that for the moment until we've organised something. Um, I will start pushing for that a bit harder in the near future. Um, but I need a new project to build and I want something quite big and there's a couple of things I want to do. Now, last time we were talking about this I suggested airships and I've gone off that idea now I'm bored of this. I just got excited because of the new height. 
but I don't want to do. Um, so we won't. Actually, um, this can go completely. There we go. Uh, there's a couple of things I do want to do, and that is, I do want to do a castle. I've said this before. Um, some of the older subscribers will remember my cathedral, which. Sadly, never got finished due to the map change. Um, so it'd be quite nice to sort that out. I'm quite liking those corner pillars like that. Um, but if I do, I want to do it you know, up there, kind of thing. Not up there, but. Um, extreme hills like that. So it's up high um, and it's totally crazy. And then I might build it on a sort of German type schloss up on the yeah, Alpine type thing. Or I might just go totally mental uh, fan fantasy. So that's one option. Uh, the other option is because um, I, I do like villages, as you know, um, and I like having the little dudes wandering around doing their thing. It makes me laugh. So. Um, I want to put another village, but I want to build a village totally in the ocean. Now, why is that too wide? Uh, because I should have one there. Um, like Venice. That's what I want to do. Now there's going to be quite a lot of problems with doing that. I'm aware of this. Um, we shouldn't let that bother us, should we? Uh, so yeah, that's another idea of what, you know, sort of canals and houses. And obviously there'll, there'll be paths and things, but I can... <sighs> the trouble with that, I can just see the testiculars just dropping off every time they step out their door and walking off into the canal and then I'll just have floating people everywhere and then there'll be an ocean and I'll just end up drifting off and it'll be a right mess. So then I'll have to end up putting fences around all the paths, and that looks shite. I don't know. I might have to test that in a creative world. I might build a couple of houses and <laughs> some canals out the front, and see if they do just wander off, dropping it. But that'll be that's that's quite a nice idea. So they're the, they're the main ones, anyway, really. That I'm thinking about when I want to hold some cobbles. So, what do you guys think of that? Let me know. Well, random crap. Um. What else? Um, there's a few things I probably can't really go into now that are happening. Uh, Ultra Hardcore 4 
has been recorded now. Don't think that's a great secret. Um, it was Teams. I don't think that's a secret either. And thanks mainly to B Dubs. And it was interesting. It was good. It was interesting. It will be again interesting to see people's responses to it. Um, and then we can decide what we're going to do for future events. As I said before, it's it really is kind of discovering what works and what doesn't and there's I think a few changes we all decided needed to be done on the map that we used um, for certain wasn't perfect but oh, bugger. oh double bugger it's tricky at the moment because um, MC Edit is not really the tool it once was at the moment. I know people are trying to sort it out. But it's not um it's not what the handy tool it once was. I mean I can't much with it myself, it tends to start worrying about running out of memory, which is interesting because I've got 12 gig in at the moment, so something's definitely wrong. I'm using a 64 bit version of it, um, 32 bit version wouldn't even run, wouldn't open anything. So hopefully they, they sort that out, and I appreciate that it's, it's not easy. And they are using somebody else's code, so they've got to dig through that. Uh, so I'm not complaining as such. It would be nice to get that back on. I did use um, World Painter, which was an interesting tool and had a lot of possibilities. A lot of interesting possibilities, but uh, I'm really happy with some of the responses from the guys that run it and it can't do some of the really basic terrain generation things which means unfortunately it can't be used for what we need it for. Look at that, parkour to the max. Okay. There we go. That's oh, right. over here as well. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. It's because you've got a little couple. This is going to take up a lot of it. Um, <laughs> cool. Um, it'd be nice if there were some more features in game, really, for generating land. I mean, so the option for perhaps like one island completely surrounded by water or something, I mean, that would be quite a cool option when I mean, you're actually generating a map in game. I'm not talking about any freaky mods or anything, I'm just talking basic, straight in game land generation. What do you want? Or lots of little islands instead of a big contents. That would be cool. But, alas, we 
do not get. So, until we do, we just have to work on something ourselves. And uh, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's oh, excuse me. Big yard. These are the things we're fighting at the moment. Sorry, my headphones just falling off my head. Um. Oh, bugger. Double bugger. Just trying to think what else. Um. Busy at the moment. Got some work on. Um, some of which is easy and boring, some of which is pushing me a little bit because it's stuff I don't really know. Um, a lot of stuff accessing other people's databases, which. Uh, it's always fun because you don't know how they set them up, so you've got to kind of go in there. And whenever you're working web stuff with databases, you'll start thinking of other things you could be doing, so you need to think about more fields to add to the databases and stuff. So, uh, <laughs> so you will th that's fun. Um. Oh, sorry, a lot of late nights. Late night. I spent, uh, spent Wednesday at the A and E. Um, not myself, the missus. But, uh, seems to have done the job. It looks like she's getting better, which is good. But obviously, not only took out a large chunk of my day. Um, Oh, hello. Always are quite so many. <laughs> That's much better. Um, yeah, I went to bed at like half past five in the morning because I was working and doing stuff and then got woken up at nine with a taxi request. So, yeah, I was a little, a little sleepy. I haven't really recovered from that, to be honest with you. Um, I threw out my clock a little bit, which is why I'm yawny. Uh, but of course, when we did the um, ultra hardcore, which we did yesterday, it was supposed to be last Friday, but there were technical issues and we couldn't get around to doing it in the end. Um, so it's this Friday. And uh, again, that's usually quite a late start. And we did have a few technical hitches as well, which meant we had to do a couple of restarts. Um, things not being set up right and stuff. <laughs> so I think by the time we actually got down to doing it, it was about an hour later than was scheduled. Which again, Quite tiring. Tiring for Doc as well, obviously, because he's uh, he's an hour ahead of me. At two o'clock in the morning when he started, and that does affect you. What am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know. It's a trouble. I'm out of practice on doing these. It's been a while since I've done them. Um, so yes, anyway. Let's... Oh, bollocky buggers. Let's probably wrap that up for now. I'm going to start churning out some of these. If I can remember how. Now the question is, should I keep that pattern going? Or should I just repeat it? Let's, let's see a where it would go if I did keep it going. Um, which would be Uh, 
That there, that there, I believe. Looks about right, doesn't it? Um, which would mean... Bollocks. Thought I'd be pushing it. Um, that there. And that there. Which I think is the same as that there. That there. Pick that up. That there. That's our hole. And that hole corresponds to that hole. Awesome! So the question of either or is irrelevant. Or is an elephant. Now, yes, before we go, I should just quickly catch up with the whole question of this um, day-night thing. Obviously, I'm going to have to have pistons at the top if I'm going to open and close things. Um, but I can't put the day-night sensor at the top of the tower. Because... Um, I haven't built to the top by the time I get to putting the pistons in. It's going to be uh, go up and up and up, take the time. And it's going to be a lot further um, from the top of the tower down to piston level than it is from down there up. So. I'm going to have to do it over there, and I say we'll bring it up through the middle. And what I will probably do is oh, we've got we've got one, that's one, two, three, four across. Yeah, one, two, three, four across. So a square hole there. What I'll probably do is use the glowstone um, and zigzag it up and use that redstone sheet which I hope still works um, we do that and redstone on there, redstone on there redstone on there etc um, and then when I need to put a repeater in I can just bring it around and then Carry it on somehow. I don't know. We'll work that out. Um, a zombie somewhere who's not very happy. Boo. And then we'll build a wall around that, and then I'll have a big staircase this wide going around it, I think. Probably the easiest way of doing it. He's downstairs, isn't he? He's in my He's in my house. No, no, he's not. Right. Is this ever gonna reset itself? Day off. You should really. There you are. Where were you? He's probably in the door. You're not having none of it, are you? I think the fence does not need let any light through. Let's 
go and check this out. It really is a bit of a cluster fudge down here. And that's the signal in I was sending to change it. Well, it's got grass on it, so I'm guessing is that, that block there is is the one that's the key important one. So maybe day is now on. I don't know. I don't get how it works. To be honest with you, it wasn't one of those best tutorials, it was a little bit complicated because he was digging it in a tiny hole. I don't know... I don't understand the point of the piston to be honest with you. I'm assuming that the water over it uh, with the sun down Gives it um, just enough light to kill the grass, or just just too little light to kill the grass, should I say? Um, oh, what? Oh, I mean, am I through the door? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm okay. I'm building this, and I will speak to you guys next time. Hopefully, it'll be a little bit bigger. Let me know your thoughts on my building suggestions, what you think you'd like to see, and whether or not I should buy a new chair, because that's bloody creaky. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>